All right, so this is a, another video. Um, I don't know if this is going to be my four, four part, five part of my video. Um, generally, the finale is when I'm probably finishing up and just maybe going over some things that I didn't get a chance to say in my other videos. But I, I still, when it comes to contouring, it's very complex. And um, there's a lot that I want to explain to achieve my natural contoured look that um, I have to talk about. So this is basically my contoured look um, if I want to get um, have more of a natural look. And um, I do use a third um, powder foundation, which is NW58. But I have not decided yet if I want to contour more um, until I maybe put my lipstick on. Um, because my lipstick is going to be really dark, I may need more. But this is my natural contoured look. So what I really want to do now is move on to my highlighting and the technique that I do. So in this video, I'm going to leave my NW58 out as I mentioned in my prior video and I'm going to start working on my with my concealer and this one is NW35 and um, this this particular uh, product um, I use with um, a really small I would consider it a concealer brush it's a really small flat rounded brush it's very flat if you can see that and I'm going, my technique, I apply it underneath my eyes in a triangular motion. I'm going to apply on the bridge of my nose. Not the tip of my nose. On my brow, on the top of my lip, on the outline, and on my chin. Now, the tool I'll be using with the concealer will only be for under my eyes, my forehead, my bridge of my nose, and the top of my lip. For the other areas I highlight, I would be using a different tool. So I'm just going to easily just take a little bit of product, you know, brush it lightly on there. And start building my uh, highlight. So you're going to see me looking in my mirror a lot. And I want to make a triangular section, so I'm going to just draw that now. And then I'm, this I'm going to blend outward. So I started from the corner of my eye, and I'm going to just bring the product right up underneath my eye. And where I stop with my triangle, I'm going to stop at the corner of my eye and then bring that other triangular piece downward. And I don't like to be heavy with the uh, concealer because really what the effect we're trying to create is similar to a video I did yesterday about strobing, but strobing is a little bit different than highlighting. Strobing is more like giving your, like how, mimicking how your how the light hits your skin and just really enhancing that highlighting to me is really just highlighting like kind of like making like sculpting your face like mimicking how you want your face to look like and I don't know if you've seen on YouTube there's a guy who does makeup tutorials not even a tutorial he basically just shows how he can take contouring and highlight highlight highlighting by contouring and highlighting his face, he can basically mi mimic any celebrity. And that's really what highlighting is. That's why I think a lot of women have gotten overboard with the whole highlighting and that. Um, that's what highlighting is supposed to do. It's supposed to like reconstruct your face and add illusion. See, I did a lot of product on this eye, so I'm going to have to blend a lot of it outward because I did that. I started with too much on it. But you don't want to go back to your concealer and add more product. You didn't want to just work with what you got. And when I highlight, I highlight right under. Like how you're more like a clown, like a sad clown face. That's kind of what I'm, what I'm doing. I can make my triangle bigger, but I don't really want it too big. Because I'm really not trying to change how I want my face to look. My kind of contouring, I'm really just changing how to, how, like changing how my face or how that light hits my face so I'm kind of like making it the way that I want but that's what contouring really is it is changing your face and kind of sculpting it 
to look a certain way. So the guy that has those videos where he's like sh showing through contouring, highlighting how he can become any celebrity. He's just using contour and highlighting and that's what he is. He can sculpt any face he wants by using that technique. And I don't know if that's the purpose of why a lot of ladies are heavy on the contouring. If they're just trying to change their face and how it looks. But um, my contouring and highlighting, I'm not trying to change it. I'm just trying to bring out more how I want how I want the light to hit my face or putting on that illusion that's how the light hits my face. So with that being said, this is probably the most extensive I would get in terms of my highlighting. The rest of it is just really kind of secondary. I'm basically highlighting my face to kind of bring out how I how the illusion of how I want people to perceive how light hits my face so that's why I'm saying there is a way you can contour and be natural with it like right here I'm highlighting the bridge of my nose so I'm putting on the illusion of how the light hits my nose you can contour your face and even change the shape of your nose. So that's what contouring really is. And I think people got really dramatic with it. I still want to look like myself. And I'm just I'm just blending outward. That's all I'm doing, just blending blending it outward. So my illusion is how the light hits my face. That's what I'm trying to mimic. And now this NW35 that I have on my face basically is, um, I think it's two shades lighter than my, my NW45. So I may add a little bit more pigment to this side because I want it to look even. And I'm building symmetry. I don't want to take too long on my videos because we do got to go out and where we're going this weekend we have to kind of buy the ticket so I don't want to spend too long on my face doing my makeup tutorials but I also want to make sure I'm doing it right so if I'm teaching people how to you know highlight and blend so that's kind of how I do under my eyes how I fanned it out on my forehead And then I'm going to also take some and put it on the tip of my lip. See? And then the other area that I highlight is, and that's pretty much it with, um, cleaning off this brush lightly only because it's going in a tube but other brushes I'm not going to be so anal about it today um, the, the, the other thing that I do I highlight my chin and I use this tool from CVS it's called a blender brush I believe a blender sponge and all I do is I just sit the brush the, the sponge deep inside of the uh, concealer and just squeeze it so I can get the pigment of it and it, per it gives you a perfect round circle and all I do is apply it to my chin like so. And it basically makes a perfect circle. And all I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go back and use my brush. I don't know why I put it away. But the brush I use to apply my concealer in my other areas of my face. I'm just going to lightly blend it out. And my chin is pretty dark. So I did go a little heavy on the concealer. But all I'm doing is mimicking, I'm highlighting a chin that I guess I wish I had. The chin that my husband and my children have. So I'm just blending it outward and trying to create this circular motion. And just back and forth.
and um, I'm awfully quiet in this video. I feel like the highlighting part is really important because if you highlight wrong, you'll look funny. You know? Because you've already put on your foundation, you know, you really, there's no point of no return. If you mess up your highlighting and contouring, then it's kind of like you got to start over. So I don't highlight and contour often because a lot of times I don't have time to do it in the mornings. I normally do this on a special occasion. And if I do have time in the mornings, I need like at least an hour to do my makeup. Because this part of doing my makeup is setting, you know, the base of how your face is looking. So yeah, I just created the chin that I wanted. And that's really all I all the highlighting I do. And I try not to get crazy with it, like I said, but when you start putting makeup on your face, you can get a little overzealous with it. I always feel like when people contour sometimes, they have so much contouring on their face that they look like Cirque du Soleil. Like how they look, that's what I mean by extreme. We don't want to go outside looking like we're from a circus. We want it to be accentuating. We want to bring out our features. If we do want to change how we want our face to look, then we go ahead and, and, and do that. But we have to be careful on how far we go. So because I'm in the mood of doing that, I really think I like how I contoured my cheek. And I am going out and day look. And normally I would not go out with it um, contoured more than this. But I'm going to put maybe, I'm going to utilize this brush because I've shown it in other videos but never use it. I want to show where that if you do want to darken your contour and make it more dramatic, I'm going to show you where you don't do it like how I did. I did a medium color here. You would not bring that dark color the same way. You would focus more towards the temple. So I'm just going to show you this particular brush. I'm just going to brush it only on one side, nice and gently. See, I got a little bit of product on there. And I'm just going to go right here and just blend it in my um, upward. So the area that I want darkest is the closest to my hairline. So if I am going to contour, that's that's the darkest area I want my, my makeup to be. is right there in that hairline. And you see how it got a little bit more dramatic? But that's the only area, that's that that should be the darkest area where it should be. It should only be up that up in that area, not under here. Because sometimes people will do their um, contouring and it looks like it's tribal paint. I am going to do a tutorial on tribal paint. But my tribal paint is not what people are walking around with. So I'm only focusing just in this area here. And that's where I do see a lot of contouring where people do have a lot on but if I am going to contour like that I'm only letting that darkest powder hit only in this area only in this area and I'm only blending upward and you see where it got darker there but I find this to be really dramatic and I still think it's too much but I if like I said I want to at least show you people a what I, how dramatic I go and that's the only area I go dramatic. I'm not trying to change my face. I'm just trying to highlight and contour it. And I and, and you saw that trick I did following my natural um, cheekbones. So where I'm highlight, where I'm contouring is only in that area. But you still see a subtlety in my cheek. So I'm almost about to finish this video up. I'm going to focus on my eyes and lips next and then show you how I turn this um, to look a little bit more natural. What I do. So that's the end of this video. I've actually ended about to end sooner than I normally do. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to take out my brushes and add them back. Those are the, the this one is what I just use on the darkest concealer 
and then this one I use my my pink pot and the other two I won't need the lip or the small eyeshadow and that's pretty much it in terms of my tools and all my makeup so hopefully you guys have been following along and I'll be right back um, with another video maybe this will be the finale all right see you in a bit <laughs> 